Hello and welcome to week one of Oxvlog, the vlogging series where I, Simon, talk about my life as an undergraduate at the University of Oxford. Ah, I should have thought that sentence out more. Now, I'm actually cheating a little bit because these videos go out on Sunday and today's not Sunday, today's actually Saturday. However, tonight is St Peter's College Ball. So tomorrow I am not going to be very capable of doing very much. Balls are a very Oxford thing uh, and I don't really have time to talk about them properly in this video. So I'm, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to be taking my camera around St Peter's Ball and um, I'll probably do a separate video about that. So what have I been up to this week? Well, in terms of work, this Monday I handed in my master's project and that was incredibly stressful. Um, w when it comes to publications and particularly important ones like this, and this was a large part of my degree, um, I'm an absolute perfectionist. You know, I'll have to make sure that the spelling is perfect, the grammar is perfect, the figures are as clear as they can be. Now Jamie's mentioned the exam scores in one of his videos because it's used for, in addition to exams, hence the name, uh, lectures, uh, particularly philosophy lectures I think are held there, and handing in formal work. And it's an absolutely beautiful building. But because I had it in my project on Monday, I have been slowly recuperating from the vast energy expenditure that took place in getting it to be perfect, I hope, uh, by the time it was submitted. So a lot of this week has been spent just trying to draw breath before I really launch myself into revision for exams. I need this time to take a breath. I think it's important when you're studying to realise when you're exhausted and you need to just rest for a little bit because it's going to mean in the long run you do more work. The bits of work which I have been doing, however, uh, have been in atmospheric physics. We've got the last lecture course of the entire year, which is Advanced Geophysical Fluid Dynamics, which is basically looking at how fluids behave on the surface of the Earth, which is a rotating system, um, which is where you get effects like the Coriolis effect, which everybody's heard of, and also um, a slightly reduced gravity, because the Earth's spinning produces a centripetal acceleration. In theoretical physics, I had a problem sheet, which I handed in over the uh, Easter vacation, which was on stochastic processes. Now, had the class on that on Tuesday. A stochastic process is basically any physical process where you introduce a random number. So um, an example of that is if you're looking at the uh, Brownian motion of a pollen particle, for example, suspended in water, you can model the um, equation of motion of that pollen grain, so where it is in as a function of time, by the viscosity of the fluid, which slows down any motion it has, and also this random term, this stochastic term, which models molecules bouncing into the pollen grain and jiggling it about. Other than that though, like I say, I've been trying to take a little bit of downtime uh, and recuperate before the inevitable revision starts. Part of that was I went to see Iron Man 3 on it when it came out, which was, if you haven't seen it, good, but not as good as the Avengers. To be fair, that could be said of most films. And the week was brightened up, on a somewhat related note, by the arrival of this. So this is the Oxford Union's term card. Now I should probably explain what the Oxford Union is. So most universities in the UK have student unions. They're the kind of government, I guess, of the student population. They represent their interests to the university and coordinate with other universities on a national level. Now Oxford does have uh, Oxford University Student Union, not ALZU for sure, um, but most of the functions that are fulfilled by other universities' student unions are fulfilled by the junior common rooms in each college. And then those junior common rooms uh, send their presidents to meet at President's Committee, which is part of ALSU. In addition to the Oxford University Students' Union, you also have the Oxford Union, um, which isn't anything to do with that procedure, but people seem to think that the two are related. The Oxford Union is a debating society, and in fact it's probably the world's most prestigious debating society. Most of what they do is focused around getting in people from the outside to discuss issues of the day. Now they'll do weekly debates which are advertised in this. So for example, the debate which is happening in third week is this house remembers New Labour fondly and it will give you the profiles of all the people who are speaking for and against. However, for most students at the university, that's not why the union is exciting. Because in addition to these debates, the union also gets in speakers just to come in and talk about either some work that they've done or basically just come in and do a Q&A session. So, one which people, a lot of people are excited about are Juan Mata, the Spanish midfielder, Baroness Tani Gray Thompson, Nate Silver, the guy who predicted pretty much all the US elections, and the one which I am frankly geeking out about like I've never geeked out about anything before, Joss Whedon. But that's about it for this week. Um, I've been spending a lot of this week asleep, trying to recover, so there's not all that much to talk about. Last but not least, Jamie! You're back! Brilliant to see you! What are you up to this term if you don't have exams or anything to worry about? Look forward to hearing about it in your next vlog, which I will see on Thursday. 